Michael, no, no real danger of complacency, I wouldn't think, given the midweek results. Uh, certainly not. You know, as we said, you know, like um, I think it shows the nature of the league that everyone is capable of, of getting results. Um, teams, obviously, at the bottom are, are fighting for their lives, for, like ourselves, for every point. And uh, so, yeah, it was uh, obviously the game that we face is, is a difficult game tomorrow. But no, there'll be no, no chance of us being complacent and thinking that um, the job's done because it's far from that. A lot of people are saying how. You're getting a lot of praise at the moment, so maybe make the most of it. Um, but a lot of people are saying how well the team is working defensively. Mm -hmm. And do you attribute that just to the hard work you've done with the defence, or is it more all the players as a collective? I think it's as a collective, to be honest. You know, um, I think it, it helps as well. Having a settled back four as well certainly helps. But yeah, and, and again, just that consistency. Um, in selection, I think it gives players um, that familiarity, and, and how how we've done in the game certainly off the ball has been very pleasing. You know, there's as we talked about, there's there's aspects we still would like to see improvements on, but yeah, I mean defensively we look a lot stronger, and uh, that's good because obviously I feel we'll be tested tomorrow night. And you've always said that every match is competitive. Everybody knows that it's competitive. Derby have been on a good run. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for us, probably <coughs> lost. At Luton and Wayne Rooney scored his first goal. How much do you know about Derby? I mean, they're obviously a good side. Yeah, they're a good side. Um, you know, the possession based team, obviously, the Dutch coaching staff as well. You know, I expect them to play in that way. Um, but again, you know, the focus really we have to be on ourselves as well. We, we have to obviously be aware of the threats of the opposition. We obviously know what a great player, you know, Wayne Rooney has been and, and, and you know, has, has still uh, capabilities obviously as well and, and, and he's, he's done that in the short period that he's been back here, we've, we've been fully aware of that. But it's about, you know, making sure that we build on, the on our level of performance. Um, you know, we'll take a lot from the, the three points against West Bromwich Albion um, and again it'll be, you know, in many ways possibly a similar type of game uh, in some respects um, and that's obviously what we focused on this week. How are we looking injury-wise? Injury-wise, we don't have any new additional injuries. Um, Tyrese is still not ready. Uh, Ryan Shawcross not ready. Um, but other than that, everyone else is OK. Stephen Ward, sorry, has a, has a calf injury as well. Okay. So you're probably aware that there's a massive amount of Stoke fans going to the game. 21 coaches already booked, uh, extra right. tickets been bought. They'll be very helpful, won't they, in a difficult match? Yeah, extremely helpful. You know, the away support ha has been terrific in all the games. Um, look at you know, Ave, right back to the first game at Barnsley, and the support we had, um, obviously ag against West Bromwich Albion. So, it, it's it's a huge part, and obviously when the situation that we're in, and, and trying to obviously climb away from the the bottom uh, the bottom part of the table, the fans play a, a, a huge part in that. And and you know, as I said, and. You know, it's important that as a team and as a group we, we build a strong relationship between ourselves and the supporters and if we continue to, to play as we are and continue to get results as we are um, you know that will happen you know and I think um, we have to make sure that you know if we have that huge travel and support that we give them something obviously to go home with happy and, and that's the aim of obviously tomorrow night. And you must be conscious that we've had rest since Saturday and Derby unlike normally it's us mm. I've yeah. had to play midweek. Will that make any difference to your plans? Well, it won't make any difference to our plans. I suppose it's it's the difficulty for Derby and that having played Tuesday and having to play Friday. It's it's not an easy scenario. That they have, they have a big squad that we'd have to maybe see a little bit of rotation in terms of the team that starts. Um, but no, we're 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 fresh. We're ready to play. We've had a good week this week with the players training. So. Um, you know, after a heavy schedule, it was good to get that little break, and that was the benefit, obviously, of, of not being involved in the cup as well. So, um, yeah, I think the most important thing now is is between now and the end of the season that we prepare the team properly, and that is both physically and tactically. And and so, um, from the physical aspect, you know, I think we're getting stronger. We've got a lot of running power in the team. I think we demonstrated that in the game against Swansea. There was a lot of good statistics, a lot of good uh, came back from that in terms of where the team is physically. And and, uh, you know, that's the type of, you know, those are the attributes that we'll need to use to the maximum uh, in this game. The transfer window closes tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be very pleased about that. In terms of outgoings, do you think we'll get any more players out? Uh, possibly, you know, one or two that have not been involved. There may be scenarios and 
loans for certain players. Um, but you know the core group that we've worked with now for the best part of a month, um, slightly longer. Uh, we don't envisage anyone going out from that group. Um, you can never say never. Um, but uh, equally, you know, we're looking at one or two areas that we maybe feel that we're a little bit vulnerable in terms of uh, options to bring in. So um, it, it's unfortunate that we have to play on the day, which is obviously the last day of the window as well. It makes it a little bit more tricky. But, you know, as I say, if there is any movement either way, it will only be, you know, one or two. It will not be anything significant in terms of number. So at this stage in the transfer window, are you happy with what's happened? Yeah, we are, you know. Um, look, we, 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 we felt that probably when the window opened that there was opportunities to, to put our name in the, in, well, to, to try and obviously strengthen in certain areas with certain players. Um, we didn't manage to get those players for one reason or another. Um, but the most important thing was also to, to streamline the group that we had. And, and sometimes, you know, you can just trade players for the sake of trading players and ultimately the group doesn't end up any stronger. So it's important that, you know, as I say, that we, we strengthen the group if we do do anything. Um, and as I say, if, if the window closes and we're left with this group of players, um, we're more than happy to proceed with that. Thank you. New signing, Johnson. Uh, Thompson. Uh, are you looking for an opportunity to start in perhaps against Derby? I mean, Jordan's come in and obviously he's had a chance two games, which we've won the two games and two kept two clean sheets. So um, he may have to be patient in that respect. He's shown up very well in the short time he's been in the building. Um, so we'll just have to see where he is at, at this minute in time. Um, we're not just going to make changes for the sake of making changes. And, and, and uh, but Jordan's been a very good addition to the squad. Um, has trained very well, and I think you know, yeah, it won't be long before he gets his opportunity. Um, and I think in the middle of the pitch we have good options. He, he's you know a young player with a lot of potential. Um, so yeah, look, as I said, this minute in time, he may just have to be a little bit patient. Relegation, I think the club has felt a sort of hangover uh, behind the scenes, particularly in the field, was felt. But uh, do you think that's been lifted now with the current results? Well, I, I can't comment really on, 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 on that from the past. You know, obviously, I can only comment on, on the period that I've been in, and, and the club um, was in a difficult situation when I came in. We're in a, a better situation, we're not in the situation we'd like to be. And um, the nature of this league is that you, you cannot. Um, you know, be in any way complacent because it's very easy to slip into a run of poor results, and you know, that's happened with teams. It, it happened obviously with ourselves earlier on in the season. So yeah, look, uh, we, we want to drive the club forward. We want the club to progress. We want to get uh, the right group of players into the club that want the club to progress as well. If that and uh, as a result of that lifts the hangover that you talk about then that'll be a positive but the most important thing is that I think hopefully there's a freshness about the place there's a, you know a better mentality about the club and uh, that's what we need going forward you know we need we need to create an, a, an atmosphere and a culture in, in, in the club and the building which, which is about winning games and that's something that possibly we haven't had over the last two years you know in terms of the percentage of games that we won and um, so we're trying to address that. Um, and I think we're going in the right direction.